Hey everyone, Michael Posnick, Century 21 Northumberland. Good day. Today's subject is the HST in relation to Airbnb. Uh, HST, which is an acronym for Harmonized Sales Tax, is a federal sales tax. In PEI, it's 15%, and it would apply to things like, you know, going out and buying a TV or uh, an automobile or tools at Canadian Tire or Home Depot. So what has happened noticeably in the last couple of years is everyone's using Airbnb to rent out their waterfront homes, their downtown homes, their townhouses, their condos. And a lot of them are becoming very successful at it. However, there is a bit of an issue. The issue is when you go to sell that property, HST of 15% could potentially apply. A lot of people think agents, brokers, feel that if the net income is, or the gross income is under $30,000, HST does not apply, but in fact, in a lot of different cases, it can apply depending on the entity that owns the property and so forth and so on. But the bottom line is, be aware that if you're looking at a property in Prince Edward Island that has been rented out, there could potentially be HST. Now, here's the interesting thing about HST. HST is a tax that you would pay and then if you were an HST registrant whether you're a sole proprietor or a corporation uh, or another form of ownership you would get back the HST or portion thereof through what's called an input tax credit or an ITC so not to get too complicated the best thing to do is always seek advice from a qualified accountant or CPA but essentially, if you were going to buy a bunch of properties and you did have the intention of renting them out, you would get that HST back through an input tax credit, an ITC, or the HST would be waived at conveyance when you take possession. So it's just something to be aware of. Please feel free anytime to text, email, uh, call me seven days a week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.